what Soho was before. Apparently, Soho was the hunting ground for the aristocracy in the area. There were some very big houses around here. Legend is that Soho was the cry that the, the, the guys uh, yelled out when they were hunting. Apparently, during the war, it was, um, it was a morgue. Um, so dead bodies from around about would, would have been brought here. Uh, and also the area is famous for um, John, Dr. John Snow, who literally um, 100 yards from here hid the handle to the pump to, um, to prove that cholera wasn't airborne, it was actually in the water. Uh, and, and there's a John Snow pub at the end of the road named after him. Uh, before it was a college, it was a school. It was actually uh, built around about 1870. As one of the very first um, state schools. So it was bought in the 1970s and uh, became part of Westminster Kingsway College, well, Westminster College at the time. And that's where we are now. In the 18th century, there was a chapel here. Um, when, we, when they were installing the disabled lift, they found, uh, we found, they dug a hole and we found bits of stone that looked like they were part of a castle. So um, quite an old building. It's in the back of, uh, in our little back courtyard, we have uh, the only detached house in Soho, um, which used to be the school keeper's uh, cottage. Uh, apparently they were gonna knock it down, but they've now discovered that the base of the house is 18th century or probably even earlier. So it's now has uh, some sort of protection. They can't knock it down. So it's changing. It's changing a lot, even in the time. I've been here now since 2004. Uh, it's more, less quirky, more corporate. Uh, a lot of the little shops have disappeared, the big chains. There's a lot of development, huge amount of development, building development. Um, and it seems to be different, yeah. There's a different vibe now to what there was in 2004. The studio um, is strange because when, when we first opened here the studio was never meant to be commercial. It became a commercial studio by accident when uh, Sky were doing um, a movie special and as a result of that some of the guys on the crew were, B were BBC uh, guys and then we did something called British Film Forever which was a very high-end BBC production about the history of British film. Um, we've done everything from uh, Keanu Reeves did some of his documentaries side by side. Um, we've done, uh, we did a special about Scream, the, the franchise. Um, ha Halloween, we did a Halloween special. Um, BBC have filmed Sky at Night. Um, CBeebies did Furchester Castle. Yeah, all sorts of stuff really, and, a lot, and lots of corporate stuff, and, lots of, and quite a lot of training, media training for MPs, media training for business people.